In 1928, Frederick Griffith was working on Streptococcus pneumoniae that causes the disease pneumonia. He established the transforming principle by performing experiments on the two strands of Streptococcus pneumonia, that is the R, which is the non-virulent strand, and S, which is the virulent strand. It is named so due to the capsule outside its cell wall, thus forming a virulent S strand. He injected live R strain cells into the mouse and it survived. He later extracted R cells from the mouse. When he injected the virulent S strain cells, the mouse died due to pneumonia. He later extracted the S cells from the dead mouse. When he injected heat killed S strain cells, the mouse survived. He combined live R cells along with heat killed S strain and injected it to the mouse. The mouse died. He later extracted the live S and R strain from the dead mouse. He concluded that the live R strain had transformed into the live S strain, maybe due to the genetic material that was passed from the S strain to the R strain, converting the R also into the S strain. But what really transformed was not clear. In 1944, the first experimental evidence that the genetic material of the living cells is composed of DNA was established by Oswald Avery, Colin McLeod, McLean McCarthy. The genetic material was thought to be a protein or an RNA or a DNA molecule. To confirm which one of these is the actual genetic material, the following experiment was conducted. They added enzymes that would degrade each one of the following in separate vials and check for transforming activity. Addition of protease degraded the protein and addition of RNAs or ribonuclease degraded the RNA both of which showed no effect on the transforming activity. Addition of DNAs or deoxyribonuclease caused the DNA to degrade and thus the transforming activity was also hindered. This showed that the genetic material was not protein or RNA but actually DNA. In 1952, Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase conducted experiments to prove that DNA is a genetic material. They used bacteriophage as only the genetic material enters the cell when it infects it. The virus, that is bacteriophage, was grown in radioactive sulfur and some were grown in radioactive phosphorus. Viruses that grew in the radioactive sulfur had radio-labeled proteins, as sulfur is not present in the DNA but only in the proteins. Viruses that grew in the radioactive phosphorus had radio-labeled DNA as phosphorus is present in the DNA and not the protein. The viruses were then allowed to infect bacterium, that is E. coli. Radioactive sulfur remained outside the cell whereas radioactive phosphorus entered the cell. After centrifugation, the bacterial cells form a pellet whereas the rest form the supernatant. Radioactivity was found in the supernatant where the sulfur was labelled, whereas radioactive pellet was found where the phosphorus was labelled. Thus, this experiment proved that the genetic material was DNA and not proteins.